Nowadays, it seems like everyone is going green. Families, businesses, governments, even law enforcement is doing its part by reducing vehicle emissions. How are they doing this? By converting their fleets to run on auto gas. Even though thousands of vehicles have been converted in conversion centers just like this, law enforcement vehicles are in a unique situation. They run the risk of being shot at. And what happens if one of those bullets were to hit the propane tank? Well, according to Hollywood, you can explode a propane tank with a pellet gun. However, in the real world, the truth is quite different. We'll be using handguns such as 45s, 38s, 9mm, 357 Magnums, and even high-powered rifles. We have a propane tank mounted in a Crown Vic, and we have plenty of law enforcement ready to participate. Let's go check it out. Here we are at the police department shooting range in Cedar Bluff, Alabama. We have city, county, and state officers on site, as well as the local fire department, looking forward to using this as a training exercise. So what's going to happen here today? Well, we want to see just how well these tanks will hold up against a variety of firearms. The goal here is to see just how far we have to go to puncture an auto gas tank and produce some kind of fire. First, we start with the 45 caliber. Now, something to keep in mind here is that in a normal situation, the trunk would be closed and there would not be a direct line of sight to the tank. As you can see, the 45 only chipped the paint a little. Let's do a comparison. This is a gasoline tank that we've taken from a car at a salvage yard. So what happens when we shoot this tank with a 45 caliber handgun? Gasoline tanks are made from a hard plastic material called high density polyethylene. And as you can see, the 45 caliber handgun had no trouble penetrating the shell. Auto gas tanks, however, are built to withstand high pressures and are made out of a much stronger material, steel. Next, we have a 40 caliber, a 38, a 9 millimeter, a 357 Magnum. As you can see, even the 357 Magnum was unable to penetrate the tank. But what happens if you get multiple shots all at the same time? Notice the number of times the tank has been shot with various caliber handguns without one single penetration. Compare that to a single shot from a 45 caliber penetrating the gasoline tank, and you will see that auto gas tanks can withstand much more punishment from a bullet. A few years back when the idea to convert vehicles to run on auto gas first came up, there was fear that the propane tanks were more dangerous than gasoline tanks. Over the years, people have conducted tests like this and shown that actually the reverse is true. You can see for yourself that propane tanks are much stronger and can withstand a lot more damage than gasoline tanks. Well, we promised you some type of fire or explosion at the beginning, so let's step up the firepower and see if we can make it happen. This is a modified 223. We said we were going to see if we could produce a fire. If it's going to happen, this is the weapon that will do it. We fully expect this weapon to penetrate the tank, but will it explode? As we expected, the high power rifle did penetrate the steel tank. However, you'll notice that there was no explosion, only a leakage of gas. So why was there no explosion? Well, for starters, this isn't Hollywood. There's a science behind it. In order for propane gas to ignite, it must meet certain conditions. First, the liquid propane inside the tank will not ignite. Only vapor will ignite, and it must have the proper ignition source as well as the proper fuel to air ratio. In order for propane gas to ignite, it must have a source of ignition greater than 940 degrees Fahrenheit. In contrast, gasoline only requires a source of ignition to be greater than 430 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, in order for propane to ignite, the fuel to air ratio must fall between 2.2 and 9.6%. If there is less than 2.2% propane, it is too lean and will not ignite. If there is more than 9.6% propane, it is too rich and it will not ignite. Now let's go back to the range and see if we've been able to meet those conditions and get our leaking propane to ignite with the spark from another bullet. Notice that we allowed the propane to dissipate a few seconds into the air to get a good mixture with oxygen. If the trunk had been closed, it would have been more difficult to get the correct mixture. Run! 
In the past, others have shown that you can't get a propane tank to explode by shooting it. Even the popular show, Mythbusters, did a segment on it and was unable to explode a propane tank until they used incendiary rounds. We have basically done the same thing here today. If you notice, there was no explosion of the tank and no flying debris, only an ignition of the propane that had leaked into the air. Propane is environmentally friendly and a clean burning fuel. It has its own built-in natural safety properties, such as a very small fuel to air ratio. Auto gas tanks are built steel tough and must meet very stringent guidelines. So you can rest assured that not only is propane safe, it's the perfect alternative fuel for your fleet.